If you're a fan of strategy and RPG games, you'll love Vikings. It's a game of clan battles and nation versus nation combat, providing an engaging and challenging experience. Vikings gives you the opportunity to play in a style that works best for you. Know how to manage people? Be a clan leader and reign over your empire. If you have a killer instinct, annihilate your enemies. If you're an economist by heart, use your skills to build a prosperous city like I would to make people happy. The game recently reached over 20 million players. That's over 10 times more than the total population of Vikings that actually live. Install the game using only my links in the description and get 200 gold and an initial protection sheet. Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple came out with iOS 11.3 Beta 3. This is for developers, it may be out for public beta testers at this point, depends on when you're watching this video. It came in at 362.7 megabytes for me. Let's take a look at the build number. The build is 15E5189F, and this particular build really doesn't add anything new that you can physically see, but it does have quite a few fixes. Now this beta does work again on the 6th generation iPod Touch, and it does resolve about 12 or 11 issues and also still has about seven known issues so there was issues with delaying messages when you open them up they would have a delay things like that that's since been fixed it's working properly now there were delays all throughout the operating system but this time it seems to be pretty fast if we 3d touch things they open nice and quickly uh, no issues there everything's nice and fast so i did run a geek bench on this particular one let's take a look at that you can see the Geekbench came in at 10,306 for multi-core and 4,185 for single core. If we look at the history, you'll see that it's pretty comparable. It's a little bit faster than the previous one, so that part's nice. But as far as anything new, I couldn't find anything specific. However, there are some new mobile device management features, and here's all of them that were listed. Uh, different things that you can do with mobile device management if you're remotely managing this for a workplace or something like that so they did add all of these different features and that's really just about it also after updating a device to 11.3 beta 3 the host computer may not recognize the device so you might have to reboot your phone and plug it in that's if you updated through itunes so that's pretty much it for this beta if you found anything though that i haven't mentioned please let us know in the comments below if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is aaron i'll see you next time